Well, hey there, YouTube. It's PD Two Finger back with a review, uh, a recommendation. I discovered the films of Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer this week. Um, I'm like three or four days into this experience. I was aware of these movies. A friend of mine uh, used to always mention, he would reference, uh huh, did you ever, like in. They Call Me Trinity. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I never saw They Call Me Trinity. Uh, so this is Terrence and Bud, a comedy, Italian comedy duo that they made, action movies, with a lot of fist fights, pretty girls, and dubbed soundtrack. Uh, bad music. These are B movies. It's the same Italian film crew. It's the same actors. Uh... Similar kind of ideas, whether it be uh, there's a there's a theme of unemployment, uh, gambling, any type of racing, uh, and now there's some crime elements. Uh, typically, uh, over the top bad guys, and uh, like gambling or the mob, you know that type of thing. It's it's seventies schlock comedy. And it features lively music. Because one, one of the things is the music will either be really bad or it'll be just great. Uh, now, mind you, I've only, I've only watched a handful of these movies. And tonight I decided, well, what I should do is quickly do a review wrap-up after I watch them. And that way I could have a few of them up until, uh, reviewed up until I quit watching them. Because I'm, I'm guessing at some point I will. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through all of these. Again, I'm starting at the top of their list, uh, doing these as far as the ratings on IMDb of what the higher films are. So tonight's movie, we can jump over and take a look, was another one of the Miami movies made in Miami. Uh, 1977 Crime Buster 7.2. They These two guys end up uh, on the police force but they're they're kind of criminals in the beginning of the movie they show that they're just like dock workers looking for work and like as this as this top review says one of their very best i've got to say the things that uh, my initial reaction to it was it had one element with these uh they were showing a little skin they had these two female actresses that were in really revealing outfits Whereas the other movies didn't really have much adult content. You'd be comfortable as a woman, as a mother, sit down with your daughter or your son watching these movies typically, uh, even though they might have some bikini girl in the background. But there really wasn't a lot of that, you know. Uh, up until this movie, um, they had these bim bimbos in there, and it, actually some of that stuff ended up making me laugh. There was a burp scene in there that, that made me laugh uh kind of unnecessary but i gotta say uh the music everything else in this movie was a little bit less screaming you're watching a b movie a bad movie there was uh less goonery and gaggery the fight scenes were fantastic in this there is uh uh for me i burst out laughing out loud a lot watching this but um i'm at that point that honeymoon point where i'll just laugh at some of these lines uh so yeah i highly recommend this one uh crime busters 1977 it's it seems like this is about as good as it gets and interestingly enough you can find this one on youtube with a like an hd rip of it um I found a 1080 rip on there, one of the first ones that came up that noted that it was HD, and that had a Italian soundtrack. So I kept looking and found a, because there's, there's a 240 rip. It might even be 120. It's bad. Like eight years ago, somebody uploaded this movie at a, a really low uh, bit rate, so the picture's blurry. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is try to include the YouTube link. So if you want to check this movie out, it'll just be in the description or even in the comments. So yeah, check out some uh, Terrence Hill and 
Bud Spencer movies. Bud has passed away. Terrence is still alive. The blonde-haired, uh, blue-eyed guy is alive. And uh, that's why we want to be skinny and not fat. I've got this huge pimple over here. Uh, that's what that is. So hopefully that's not disturbing you. It, I've noticed it on camera today, and I thought I would address it. Uh, it should be uh, taking care of itself and healing up in, in a couple of days. So <laughs> huge pimples aside, <laughs> definitely check out Crime Busters, and let me know if you watched it, what you thought, what you enjoyed, if you laughed out loud. I, I laughed out loud quite a bit in this one. So there you go. Enjoy and peace. Cr crime Busters. Not to be confused with Crime Wave. Is, it, is he in Crime Wave? I bet you he is. Uh, which one? Crime, crime Wave is this movie that I broke out at Hives. Who are you asking about? Um, crime Wave movie. Bud Spencer is in Crime Wave. No. I wonder if it's uh, Crime Wave. Uh, who's the guy who played uh, Brutus? I don't know. I'll look it up. All right. Well, it's not Bud Spencer in Crime Wave. Um, Crime Wave movie. Who, who am I thinking of? Let me see if I can find the actor's name. Uh, if you've never seen Crime Wave, it's... Yeah, there he is. There's the guy. Um, it's... Ethan Cohen and Joel Cohen with Sam Raimi. So Bluto, you mean in the Popeye movie? Yeah, movie? yeah, it is. It is Bluto from the Popeye yeah. movie. Paul L. Yeah. Smith. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's something like if you look, if you Google image search Bud Spencer, there's an image that says Brutus, and it's Brutus or Bluto from Popeye. And they made these stickers or T-shirts uh, not realizing that it's not Bud Spencer. It's Paul L. Smith, who plays Brutus in 1980. Was that Robert Altman that made that movie? I Popeye. So. I heard that was uh, uh, cocaine. Like, it was, it was nuts. On the set of Popeye in 1980, Harry Nelson did the music for that movie, directed by Robert Altman. <clears throat> Just zip it. And I'll talk to you guys later. If you've never seen the 1980 Popeye movie, uh, it's got low ratings, but it's actually really uh, unbelievably great. It's it's really good. All right, talk to you uh, uh, soon. I'll have another one of these stink bomb turkey reviews and. I shouldn't say that. This tonight's movie was much closer to a uh, a legitimate movie. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned to Donna, it's on uh, when when they raise everything up to that level, it's like you just kind of get a mediocre movie. It's almost better for me when they're completely over the top and zany and stuff that doesn't make sense. And, but the fast motion I can live without. That's kind of an insult to me. It, it's almost like, uh, you know, I'm not six years old. Anyway, yeah, uh, here's the uh, crime wave. I'm sorry, I didn't have that stuff up. If you've never seen this movie, definitely, definitely. It's got a 5.7, I know, but this is really worth your time. But again, uh, it's it's slapstick. It's uh, Bruce Campbell's in it. It's Sam Raimi with the Coen brothers. So it's like, how can you go wrong? I <laughs> I broke out in hives when I watched that the first time. I was like, we're gonna watch Crime Wave, kids, because I knew I I had heard all about it. I had watched the previews. I had read people that knew what it was and loved it. And I'm like, we're gonna watch this movie. And I sat down. And all of a sudden, it was like. I got an itch, and then it was like, I got an itch. Holy shit, I got an itch. Then I was in the bathtub crying, like, uh, and my skin then stopped itching for like three weeks. 
from eating a one bite one bite of a casserole that my brother's mother-in-law it was a sweet potato casserole with with marshmallows and we were there for thanksgiving and they're passing this shit around she's like what's the matter leaf you don't like sweet potatoes he was like oh i guess i never really tried one or maybe when i was younger i tried it and i didn't like it but yeah i'll try it so i took one little thing of it and tasted it and i didn't like i it was disgusting and uh yeah i broke out on ice for three fucking weeks because of my bro not telling my brother's mother-in-law no i don't like sweet potatoes and I'm, I'm never going to do that again. I'm never eating anything or doing anything I don't want to do just because some rude old woman is uh, trying to lord her power over me socially. So that's my advice to you. Watch Crime Wave, but stay away from the sweet potato casserole, especially uh, if it's got uh, mushrooms, if it's, if it's got marshmallows on top. Peace.